Hey guys, welcome back. It's the third day of the CES 2020. I'm here in Las Vegas together with the whole Pimax team. We have the big Pimax booth. And guess what? We are, Pimax is the winner of the AR and VR Digital Trends Talk Tech of CES Award. We just got the award and we're gonna check it out at the booth and uh, we're gonna have some interviews uh, with some people over there. And uh, yeah, this is really awesome. They actually think we are the best of the show in terms of AR and VR. I'm gonna read it up to you what they actually wrote us. Congratulations to you. Of all of the mind-blowing AR and VR innovations of display at CES 2020, your product caught our attention the most. We, when we saw the Pimax 8K X VR headset, nothing made us more excited for the future of AR and VR. As the AR and VR winner of Digital Trends Top Tech of CES Award, your accomplishment will be front and center before our 119 million unique monthly readers. This is quite cool, isn't it? This actually proves how good the Pimax 8K X is. We've had Road to VR here as well, we've had uh, VR Focus, we have Upload VR, we have so many other magazines and all of them are very, very, very positive. Actually, we had Palmer Lucky here yesterday in the afternoon and, you know, I'm not going to say too much because I think he wants to make his own impression, of course, maybe some uh, of it on his blog, but all I heard was, yeah, it's definitely a big improvement. That's quite a good, uh, I mean, that's quite a good... Uh, how do you say, a quote from Paul Lucky, the founder of VR basically. So guys, follow me, let's jump into CES, the South Hall 1 of CES 2020. I'm gonna show you around a little bit here. Uh, there's so much people here, it's just begun, it's 10 o'clock a.m. in the morning, people are just like rushing in, like thousands of people coming, and I'm gonna show you where to find the Pimax booth if you are actually attending CES today or tomorrow. In the front here, you see a Razer, which actually were, were visiting our booth yesterday. Uh, they were visiting our booth, they were super impressed as well. Uh, because they actually have a simulator, as you can see over there, with racing, uh, with two projectors, uh, doing a, kind of like a 180 degrees experience. But guess what they said to me? They're like, holy shit, this would be so much better on this device, <laughs> on the Pimax 8KX. So yeah, so uh, hopefully we're going to have some collaboration with Razer. We'll see about that. Anyway, let's continue. I'm going to try to squeeze in here in between all the people. Uh, I mean, apart from Pimax uh, booth, I haven't visited much except for the um, Xtel. I've been talking to Marek over there, uh, the founder of Xtel. And I've been to your VR booth when, where we, we are also showing off an 8KX, by the way. And I'm going to do a short video about that later on, probably today. And I'm going to test the, uh, the your VR motion simulator in a roller coaster game together with the 8KX. So it's further down here, and you can already there see the Pimax uh, logo at the top. There are many. There are many other brands here as well. We have Pico here, um, Pico Neo 2. I have seen some HTC Vive devices, but I don't think HTC Vive actually is here or HTC actually is here in this uh, booth or this uh, hall. So this is basically the AR and VR gaming uh, marketplace, as they call it, <laughs> or the main uh, AR and VR booth. Let's see, we're almost there. Here it is. The Pimax here, this is kind of the backside of the Pimax booth. Uh, there's a lot of people gathering already now, 10 o'clock in the morning. Actually, I was here like eight o'clock in the morning setting up uh, all, the, all the computers. I was here first of all, and people were like here already 8.20, like, can I try it, can I try it? And I was like, please give me some time, I need to set it up. Uh, yeah, as I already introduced you to the, to the stations, uh, we're running a cool sword game over there. Uh, we are running the um, Artisan and the 5K Super, uh, but we're setting up, we're actually changing something, so, so, so this game, so nobody's really using it at the moment. 
Over here we have the 8KX. Uh, we were changing, switching games all the time. Uh, uh, yesterday we did some Assetto Corsa, some Pavlov. Now we're running the lab. Actually, here's the CEO of Fimax, the founder of Fimax, Robin. Hi, yeah. <laughs> Hi Robin. Are you enjoying? Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Let him just enjoy. Uh, he's probably trying something. You know, being here working at the booth, you, you won't get much time to enjoy anything more than just interact with people. Here we go. Uh, well, this is the uh, this is uh, one of the awards we have here. It's best of Kickstarter. It's quite a cool thing, don't you think? And uh, let's go to the front side. As I said uh, last time, we're showing simulators and also we're showing Boneworks here right now. I've still not set up the VRSS. Um, new driver for the VRSS, but I'm going to do that later today. And also we have some really cool stuff coming up uh, because uh, we actually have uh, uh, the eye tracking is going to be set up here today by 7 Events and together with DFR, Dynamic Foveated Rendering. Uh, fully working demo now is going to work much better than last time even uh, at uh, VR Days back in Amsterdam. So I'm going to do a separate video about it later, I think. So let's check over here. Also, we're showing uh, how to watch or how it looks watching movies on the Pimax 8K Plus. Uh, we have it over here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we are, uh, I'm running a loop of a trailer just to show it in big screen and people are super impressed. I'm going to do a separate video about this later on. I think actually that Sebastian from MRTV did a video about this yesterday. But it's super cool, the blacks are great, the, the colors are great, the, the screen door effect is main gone. And uh, yeah, people actually think this is the 8KX, which it isn't, it's the 8K+. Plus. So if you're gonna do a lot of, uh, I mean, if, if you're gonna watch movies every day or watch TV series or any kind of media, I think the 8K+, Plus could be the device for you. It's, I mean, it's cheaper than the 8KX. Uh, here's Conger from uh, Pimax, by the way. <laughs> And uh, let's see, where is our Tonga, Where is our little award thing? The oh, where's the award? It, it, it vanished. Someone stole it from us. Really? Someone stole it. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's gone. It's gone. Uh, well, you you're gonna be able to read about. It was on the table a moment ago, actually. Oh wow, this is funny, this is funny. Of course, when I'm recording, that happens. It ha just had to happen. Anyway, uh, we have, uh, we had a little sign here that we are the winners. I think we're gonna get some kind of trophy later on today also, so I can show you this. And they're gonna come over here personally to congratulate us and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> that was a little bit funny actually. <laughs> I think someone got jealous, I don't know, maybe. So uh, let's see, um, I'm going to talk to Don here. We'll see, he's a little bit busy. Before we quit this video, I just wanted to show you this is a little bit of an intro for today. There's going to be more videos about CES and uh, what's happening over here. I think Don is busy. Maybe we'll let him just, uh, <laughs> maybe we just let him do his work. So yeah, guys. Um, I'm going to be back later on with some uh, more coverage from CES here. Uh, maybe we get some really cool people over here. We're still waiting for some YouTubers. MRTV has all, already left Vegas, so he won't be here anymore. But I think there will be some other cool YouTubers coming in here and some other people. If we're lucky, we might get uh, Palmer Lucky here again. We'll see about that. All right, guys, the winner of the AR and VR Tech uh, Awards, Pimax. Not bad, right? <laughs> Cheers, see you later.